So I have nothing on my face other than my skincare and a little bit of concealer and powder on my eyelids. But we're not touching that area for this because we're gonna be working on the under eye area. Now, before I start that, I do wanna add a very thin layer of foundation over my skin. So I'm just gonna very quickly add that. I'm using my Shiseido Skin Self refreshing foundation. I haven't used this foundation in so long and I started using it the other day and I was like, why did I stop? Anyway, I'm gonna put a very small amount, just a little kind of like bump <laughs> on my brush. And this is my F85 brush. And I'm just gonna apply this here. You really need the smallest amount of this. And I'm not taking it on my under eyes, I'm just like kind of buffing it into the skin everywhere else. This is where I'm gonna start with my concealer. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is 35N medium. And I'm gonna just apply a little bit just along my under eye area here. When you apply your concealer on your under eyes, you wanna make sure that you apply an even layer because if you apply too much, it can end up looking kind of a lot more kind of cakey and just thick and you can end up seeing the lines on the under eye area and it just builds up in those areas and it doesn't look good. So even if it means applying a small amount to begin with and then building it up, do so because that will end up helping you to achieve the exact amount that you need rather than just going straight in with a whole load. I'm kind of used to what I need so that's why I know how much I need to apply but I'm going to go ahead and use my sponge to just buff this in now. Now I'm making sure that I'm not taking it super close to my under eye areas so like my lash line. I'm keeping it on my under eye area but not taking it all the way up into the lash line. So you can see how we've got that covered nicely. We're gonna do the same on this side. Don't take it up into the lower lash line. The reason for that is because you really wanna make sure that your natural skin tone comes through directly underneath your lash line and that will give you more of a kind of natural finish. The moment you apply the concealer really close to the under eye lash line, then it starts to look kind of almost like a mask. So what you want is your natural skin tone to come through just on that area and just focus on covering up the dark circles, which usually falls a little bit lower. So you can see we've covered up the dark circles nicely there. I'm happy with how much I've got there. So now this is where you wanna let it just set for a second before you go in with your powder. If you go immediately in with your powder, you'll find that that can also be something that makes it kind of end up looking a bit more cakey because you're not letting it settle down a little bit first. So let it set just a little bit before you go in with your powder. A plus side of that is that you're allowing it to settle into your creases. And what happens there is you can lift out that excess product from your creases before you go in with your powder. Whereas if you don't let it settle for a second, it will start to settle after. At least this way you're getting rid of the excess, the, the amount of product that you don't actually need there. So I'm just going over with a really thin veil of foundation because I like to kind of like just sandwich it all in. Now I'm ready to go in with my powder, but I find that this is the part that people generally struggle with. Like I did a live this Sunday just gone and I noticed that a lot of the people who were doing their makeup at the same time as me, when it came to doing the under eye area, they said that's the part they messed up on. So what I really wanna focus on today is like your pressure, the way you hold the sponge, what should you use and how long you should wait, which is why I said you need to wait a little bit you know, just for your concealer to settle down. Now that we've let it settle down, we're gonna get the sponge and we're gonna use the highest point, so the point part of the sponge. And we're gonna make sure that we take out any product that's sitting in the lines. The lines that I have are very close to my lower lash line. So what I like to do is just kind of like press and lift. And what that's doing is just kind of absorbing any excess product that's there and picking it up. Now this is where you wanna go into your powder. There are a few different setting powders that I absolutely love. So this isn't necessarily the one that I'm saying is the best one. Like I feel like honestly, there's a few that I use and I love all of them and they all set really well. But today what I am gonna be using is my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder in Light Banana. Now what I do is I make sure there is a decent amount ready for me to dip my powder puff into. So I feel like 
a lot of people either apply too much or not enough. So it's really about getting that kind of like sweet spot of application, like how much do you apply to your powder puff? Secondly, use a powder puff. Honestly, it's the best thing ever. Now I'm gonna be honest, I do feel that powder puffs can be quite different because you've got powder puffs like this, which is the Makeup Forever one, and it's more of a kind of velour puff. And then you've got puffs like this, which are from Laura Mercier. Now this has been my favorite for a very, very long time and it still is. This I like, it's much smoother and kind of velvety, whereas this one I feel like is a bit more kind of almost gritty. So it has more texture to it where I feel like it really picks up the powder well and it transfers really well. So I would personally recommend this specific powder puff, which is a Laura Mercier one. Don't forget that all the links are in my description below. So you can just head on over and click on them and it'll take you straight to the product. Now what I like to do is hold this powder puff and just basically put my finger in the middle there and almost like just create like a dome. Can you see how I've done that there? And it's much easier. I put this finger in the middle so it's got something to like rest against. And then these two fingers, I hold it to kind of give it that nice curve. Then what I do is I go into the powder, but I'm kind of almost like moving it around a little bit to really get that powder onto the powder puff. Next, what I would suggest doing is just go on the back of your hand and it just helps to kind of get rid of any excess and it kind of smooths out the powder on here so that you get more of a really nice even finish on the under eye area. Now it's been a while since I took those creases out so I'm just gonna very quickly take them out again because realistically you need to take those creases out just before you apply the powder. Now I've got my puff ready. We're gonna go under the lower lash line, press and keep pressing all the way across. Go over it a couple of times until it looks a bit more even like that so that there's not a whole chunk of powder in one place. Now I'm gonna go ahead, do the same thing and go here. That is me setting the under eyes perfectly. Now what I wanna do is more or less Within a minute, you wanna grab your brush and you wanna start dusting off. Usually what I do is apply powder everywhere else on the face and then I go and dust it off. And I usually dust off the under eye last. So I would say while I'm talking here, I would have done all of that, but I really wanna focus on the under eyes. That's why I'm not doing all that at the moment. You wanna make sure you get a brush which is a good size for the under eye area and also a really, really good texture and like uh, kind of bristle, softness of it for the under eye area. You don't want something too strong. You don't want something too hard or too compact. So I would say this is the perfect brush for the under eye area. This is the Real Technique setting brush. And this is again, linked in my description below. What you wanna do, there's nothing on this brush, by the way. You wanna go ahead and start dusting off this powder. You're basically pressing very lightly. You're actually hardly pressing. You're just kind of like skimming across the top layer of the skin. See how that's just taken it all off? There you go. We've just skimmed across the skin and it's taken all of that off. Now, one thing I really wanna add here is that a lot of it has to do with how you've applied that powder. Every step is really important here because that's what's gonna guarantee that you set your under eyes in the right way and that you don't develop any creasing later on in the day. But ultimately, it's also about how much powder you apply on the under eye area and how you apply it because I've noticed that some people just put way too much on and then they go straight in with a, with a brush which maybe like kind of have, it might have other product on there. It might have a bit of cream on there or something. So you need to make sure you keep a brush dedicated to just dusting the powder from your under eye area. I can guarantee that's gonna help you so much as well because there's nothing else you're using this brush for. Once you get the hang of this, it's honestly the easiest thing ever. It's so easy. I feel like it's something that you're, you guys are gonna be able to do really easily. Like just keep doing it over and over and over again. I always say this in my videos, that practice makes perfect. If you do it the first time, you can more or less kind of guarantee you're gonna go wrong at some point. If you keep doing it, you'll figure out where you're going wrong. You're, you're correcting any mistakes you make. Your pressure's getting better. You're understanding your face a little bit better. So when you haven't done something like this, it's quite easy to get your pressure wrong, to get the angle of like you holding the brush or the powder puff wrong, get the amount of product you're using wrong. There are so many different things that can go wrong. So when you go wrong, don't think to yourself, it's just you. It's probably one small thing that's gone wrong, which is easy to correct. It's just about keep 
you know, just practicing and figuring out what that is and doing it over and over again. Even if it means you keep watching this video and you do the under eye area with me every time you watch this video, you're gonna get better and better because the first time you watch this, you're gonna listen through, you're gonna probably do the whole routine with me and you're gonna be like, okay, that just didn't work. It would be wrong of you to give up right then because I can guarantee if not the second, third, or the fourth, but by the fifth time, you're definitely gonna pick something up that you probably missed the first time around when you watch this video. So it isn't about watching a video and getting it right straight away. We're not magicians here. I'm trying to really help you to understand your approach to makeup and how you can get better over time. This under eye area is not going anywhere. There are gonna be no creases. You're not gonna to have to worry about like it looking cakey throughout the day. Trust me, I have been doing this technique for years and years and years. I have never had an issue with it. It even holds up in the hot weather Weather, sweating, you name it, even going in the pool. So this is something I know you guys are gonna love once you've actually got it right. Now what I'm gonna do is just do the rest of the face very quickly and the reason I'm gonna share this with you and go through it is not so much so you learn how to set the rest of the face but it's really about kind of going over how to press into the powder again just so that you get the gist of it. Now again I'm curving the powder puff, I'm going into this powder, swirling it around so the powder really kind of evenly distributes onto this puff. I'm then gonna go on my hand, just kind of, I'm not gliding it, I'm just kind of like, like that. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense what I'm doing. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of go on to the other areas. Okay, and we're never gliding the powder puff either, by the way. This is where I get a bigger brush and I just dust it off. Honestly, as easy as that, and I feel like you are gonna get better and better at it. It's really about watching this video over and over and over again, and genuinely just keep doing it. Get the right products as well. Like, honestly, if you're gonna invest in anything, I would suggest making sure you get the right tools as a start. So get the right powder puff. Get this Laura Mercier powder puff. Get yourself the Real Techniques setting brush. Again, both are listed in my description. Head on over click on the link and it's gonna take you directly to the exact product. So you don't have to mess around trying to look for it. I also wanna just remind you, my eyeshadow trio is still available. You can go grab yours. Make sure you get it because it's way cheaper getting it like this than it is getting these pencils individually. If you didn't watch my video recently, you need to go watch it because it shows how you can actually use this in so many different ways. I think it was one of my lives that I used it, but you can use this as contour sticks, as eyeshadows. It's absolutely amazing what you can do with these. And I've chosen these specific shades so that you can create the kind of signature look that you always see me wearing. And they're so easy to blend as well. I'm gonna be doing another live very soon, which shows you exactly how to use this to create my signature smoky lash line look. So I'm really excited. Make sure you grab yours soon before they kind of sell out. So hopefully this has cleared it up for you and you now know how you can perfectly set your under eyes. I really do hope you try this out because it genuinely is something that once you get it right is going to be a complete game changer for your under eye area. Plus you're not going to have to deal with all the creases and you just it's just it just makes life so much easier when it comes to your makeup. So I know how much this is going to change your whole makeup game. Trust me you're going to love it. Just be patient, keep doing it. Let me know if you have any questions but honestly, if you watch this video very closely and very carefully over and over again, you are gonna honestly get this right. You, you, it's all in this video, trust me. There's nothing extra that you need to know. Everything is listed in this video. I've gone through everything bit by bit in detail for you. So hopefully that has really helped you and solved that problem for you. Don't forget, I do have an online publication called The Beauty Breakfast Club, which has regular newsletters every week where you can actually read about beauty tips, makeup tips, style tips, bit of everything. My opinion, everything's written by me and it's actually quite close to my heart so I really do hope you head on over and you check that out because it's something that you're going to love and I'd love to have you as part of the community over there too it's very close knit and we do have like a whole group where we can chat as well so I think you're going to love it so wherever you are in the world I'm sending you loads of love if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos until the next video take care and I'll see you soon